Hi friends, subscribe now, subscribe now my channel and start money online. About Indian Passport. The Indian Passport is issued by the Ministry of External Affairs, government network of 37 passport offices across the country and the 180 Indian embassies and consulates located abroad. The document serves as an essential travel document for individuals who travel abroad for education, tourism, pilgrimage, medical attendance, business purposes and family visits. The passport certifies the holders as citizens of India by birth or naturalization as per the Passports Act, 1967. In India, the Consular, Passport and Visa Division of the Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India provides passport services through Central Passport Organization, CPO, and its network of passport offices, and Passport Siva Kendra's PSKs. Non-resident Indians NRIs can avail passport and other miscellaneous services through the 185 Indian missions or posts. It needs to be mentioned that the passports issued to individuals are machine-readable, as per the guidelines laid down by the Indian Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. Types of Passport Issued in India There are two main types of passports that are issued to individuals by the Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. They are because Ordinary Passport Ordinary passports are issued to ordinary individuals. These passports are for general purpose which enable the holders to travel to foreign countries on business or holidays. Official Diplomatic Passport Official or diplomatic passports are issued to people traveling to foreign countries on official duties. How to apply for an Indian passport An individual can apply online for the Indian passport through the Passport SIBA website or the Passport SIBA app. The detailed procedure of applying for the passport is mentioned below. The applicant who wishes to avail a passport needs to register on the Passport SIVA online portal. If he, she has already registered, the individual needs to log in to the portal using the registered login ID and password. Next, the applicant needs to click on, apply for fresh passport reissue of passport, link. Following that, the details asked for in the form needs to be provided by the applicant and submitted. Next, the applicant needs to click on the Pay and Schedule Appointment link under the View Saved Submitted Applications tab to schedule an appointment. Once the payment is made and the appointment is booked, the applicant needs to click on the Print Application Receipt link and print the application receipt that contains the application reference number on. The next step involves the applicant visiting the Passport Siva Kendra PSK or Regional Passport Office RPO on the date of appointment along with the original documents. To apply for an Indian passport offline, applicants need to download and get a printout of the application form before submitting them at the passport collection centers. Another alternative is to buy the application form, fill it up and submit it at the center along with the relevant documents. Fees structure for Indian passport. Application type. Charges 36 pages. Charges 60 pages. For fresh passport reissue of passport under normal scheme. 1500. 2000. For fresh passport reissue of passport under TATCAL scheme. 3500. 4000. Check here to know the detailed fees structure for Indian passport. Documents required for Indian passport. When an individual applies for a passport, he, she is required to submit certain documents. Passport application form. Proof of address. Proof of date of birth. Documentary proof for any one of the non-ECR categories. 1. For proof of address. Passbook of running bank account having the photo of the applicant. Landline or postpaid mobile bill. Rental agreement. Electricity bill. Voter ID card issued by Election Commission of India. Water bill. Income tax assessment order. Proof of gas connection. Aadhaar card. Copy of the first and last page of parent's passport, in case of minors. Certificate from employer of reputed companies on their letterhead. 
copy of the first and last page of the spouse's passport mentioning the applicant's name as spouse of the passport holder. 2. For proof of date of birth. Aadhaar card, e Aadhaar. PAN card. Voter ID card issued by the Election Commission of India. Driving license. A declaration given by the head of the orphanage or child care home confirming the date of birth of the applicant in its official letterhead. Birth certificate. Transfer certificate school. The copy of an extract of the service record of the applicant only for government employees or pension order retired government employees which is duly attested or certified by the officer of the concerned department of the applicant. The copy of the policy bond that is issued by the Public Life Insurance Corporation companies having the date of birth of the holder of the insurance policy. How to book appointment for Indian passport. Log in to the online passport SEBA portal with registered login ID and password. Click on the apply for fresh reissue passport link. Fill the required details and submit the application form. Next, click on the Pay and Schedule Appointment link which is located under the View Saved Submitted Applications screen to schedule the appointment. On doing so, the appointment slot will be allotted to the applicant. New Passport Application Rules in India All the recent Indian passports contain the personal details about the holder on the second page of the document. The new passports have the applicant's picture on the right side of the passport's second page. Emigration check is required for all people who hold ECR passports. ECNR passports can be availed by Indians holding at least the matriculation certificate. Indian born in a foreign country. Official or diplomatic passport holders. Gazetted government servants. All individuals who pay income tax. The professional degree holders and graduates like lawyers, doctors, engineers, scientists, chartered accountants, etc. Dependent children and spouses. Seamen in possession of CDC. All individuals above the age of 50 years. All nurses who possess qualifications that are recognized under the Indian Nursing Council Act of 1947. All children above the age of 18 years. All individuals who have stayed in foreign countries for more than three years. All people who have diplomas from SCVT, State Council of Vocational Training, or NBCT, National Council for Vocational Training. Both Hindi and English languages are printed on the Indian. If the applicant is separated or divorced, they would not be required to enter the name of the spouse in the passport application form. The name of either the applicant's mother, father or legal guardian must be provided in the passport application form. Some of the annexes in the passport rules, 1980, have been merged and brought to 9 from the existing 15. The annexes must be provided by the applicants on plain paper which is self-declared. Going forward, no attestation or swearing by executive magistrates would be required. For a child not born out of wedlock, only annexure G must be submitted while making the passport application. Applicants who are married need not submit annexure K or marriage certificate. Submission of registered deed of adoption is not required anymore for domestically adopted kids. Orphaned kids can submit authorized letter from the orphanage. Sannyasis and Sadas can apply for Indian passports with their spiritual guru's name on the passport application. Documents required for out-of-turn passports. 1. If the applicant 18 years and above can submit any two of the mentioned below documents. Ration card. Voter ID issued by the Election Commission of India. Self-passport that is unrevoked and undamaged. The birth certificate that is issued under the Registration of Births and Deaths Act. Fan card. Scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, other backward caste certificate. Driving license. Identity card issued by the state or central government, public sector undertakings, local bodies or public limited companies. Identity card issued by an educational institution. Arms license. Pension documents such as ex-servicemen's pension book or pension payment order, ex-servicemen's widow dependent certificate, and old age pension order. Bank post office Kizan passbook. 2. 
If the applicant is below 18 years, he, she needs to submit any one of the documents that are mentioned below. Photo identity card issued by an educational institution. Ration card. Birth certificate issued under the Registration of Births and Deaths Act. Note, for both 18 and below 18 years of age, addition to the above documents, a copy of the Aadhaar card E-Aadhaar 28-digit Aadhaar enrollment ID printed on the Aadhaar enrollment slip issued by UIDAI and a self-declaration prescribed in Annex E of the Passport Rules, 1980 are required. 3. Applicant for out-of-turn passports under TATCAL scheme. The documents required to be submitted are the same as the ones that are needed to be submitted if the application is filed under the normal scheme. It needs to be mentioned that no proof of urgency needs to be submitted by the applicant for issuance of out-of-turn passports under the TATCAL scheme. Apart from that, another thing that applicants need to know is that police verification will be carried out after the passport is issued to the applicant under both the normal and TATCAL scheme. Passport issuing authorities and collection centers. As mentioned earlier, the Ministry of External Affairs works through the Central Passport Organization, CPO, and its network of passport offices, Passport Siva Kendra's PSKs, in the country and through embassies and consulates outside India for the issuance of passports and other passport-related services. Maya, the Ministry of External Affairs Maya, is the government arm that takes care of the issuance of passports, reissue of the document or other miscellaneous services, the Ministry is in charge. CPB, Consular, Passport and Visa Division of the Ministry of External Affair works for the issuance of passports. The CPB at Patiala House, New Delhi, processes applications for official and diplomatic passports. DPC, SPC, CSC, District Passport Cells, Speed Post Centers and Citizen Service Centers can only process applications for fresh passports and not reissue, tat call or other cases. PSK, Passport Siva Kendras are extensions of POs through which front-end passport-related processes and services are carried out. It is the physical space where applicants must physically present themselves after getting an online appointment. This is where required documents are submitted, photographs taken and applications are reviewed before being passed onto the passport office for processing. There are 77 PSKs in India functioning under the PPP model under which human and technological resources are provided by TCS. PSLK, Passport Siva Lagu Kendras are also extensions of POs providing similar services as PSKs, except that these were set up to cover certain areas such as eastern and northeastern areas. They help ease the burden of PSKs in these regions who handle applications from a large jurisdiction. There are 16 PSLKs in India but these do not function under the PPP model. They are entirely set up, operated and controlled by the government. PORPO, Passport Offices, Regional Passport Offices issue, deny issue of, impound passports. POs carry out back-end passport-related processes and services. They exercise authority over PSKs. They process applications, and print and send out approved passports. They deal with the MAYA, state police and state administration. They also handle financial, legal and RTI activities. There are 37 passport offices in India. Indian Missions Abroad, the MAYA works through about 180 Indian mission posts for issuance of passports outside India. These include Indian embassies, high commissions and consulates. FAQs. How to check the Indian passport application status. It needs to be mentioned that once the application is filed it goes through various stages like under review, printed, dispatched etc. Tracking the status shows which stage of the process the passport application is in. Procedure for police verification of Indian passport. There are a few cases where police verification is not required. If the applicant wants to know what he, she is required to do in order to get the police verification done, applicants can log into the Passport SIBA website. How does the processing of Indian passport applications at Passport SIBA Kendras works? 
While applying for a passport, an individual is required to visit the Passport Siva Kendra PSK on the date of appointment to finish the last part of the application process. Final verification and approval of the passport application takes place at Passport Siva Kendra. How to check ECR ECNR passport status? The ECR and ECNR denotes whether the passport holder needs emigration clearance for traveling to the specific 18 countries listed by the government of India. The information regarding the status of ECR ECNR is provided on the second page of the passport. How to change the address in the Indian passport application form? The passport holder can update the address by applying for a reissue of the passport. The person can do it online or offline according to their convenience. How can government employees apply for an Indian passport? The individual has to first send, prior intimation, by letter to the controlling authority before applying for the passport. This is required to be done to speed up the whole application process. The rest of the process is mostly similar to the process followed by ordinary citizens of the country. How many days does it take to get an Indian passport? When a normal application is filed, the passport is issued to the applicant within 30 to 45 days while if the application is made under the Tatkal mode, the passport is issued within 7 to 14 days. What are Type P passport in India? Type P passports are regular passports which are issued to ordinary citizens of the country. The passport can be used to travel to foreign countries for personal trips, business trips, educational purposes, etc. In Type P passports, P stands for personal. Is having a permanent address necessary while applying for an Indian passport? Having a permanent address is not mandatory while applying for an Indian passport. However, the applicant needs to provide the current address which will be endorsed in the issued passport. What is a red passport in India? The diplomatic passport which is issued to Indian diplomats, top-ranked government officials and diplomatic couriers is known as a red passport in the country. The passport has a maroon cover and is also known as type D passport, which is the passport issuing authority in India. The passport issuing authority in the country is the Concerned Regional Passport Office RPO, where all the important decisions with regards to the passport are taken. What is the validity of the Indian passport? The Indian passport which is issued to the ordinary residents of the country is valid for a period of 10 years. For a minor, the validity is restricted to a maximum of 5 years. Passport resources. Passport information. Passport application online. My friend, my channel subscribe now. Start now. Online money.